And what do you make of the character who, or the actor who plays Fontaine, and the character he plays? Well, as I say, um, uh, to the best of my knowledge, he was chosen uh, because he uh, incorporated the uh, aspect of uh, the physical appearance that uh, Bresson thought uh, was required by the part, uh, and that this was his only screen appearance. Uh, but I think he does a very, very good job, and that uh, uh, he may well have been very obedient to, to, to Bresson's direction, but uh, uh, the, the way he uses his eyes um, would not do uh, shame uh, a really uh, experienced professional. Uh, so uh, he, he, he does put in, I think, a very good performance. And uh, uh, again, uh, I think one has to look at the, uh, uh, at the locations that, that they do uh, go very well in, in, in black and white. Uh, and that the uh, shafts of light that uh, uh, are, are used to uh, illuminate, particularly during the escape, but uh, at other times uh, show that uh, Bresson and his cameramen were fully aware of uh, the, the, the dangers of monotony and uh, uh, managed to overcome them with great skill. Uh, but uh, I think they, they wanted uh, the looks of people's faces um, uh, and so that, uh, uh, for example, the priest um, is instantly recognisable uh, when you see people coming along uh, and emptying their pails. Uh, but he does uh, concentrate on a relatively small number and that, uh, there are also a lot of uh, anonymous figures uh, moving around at the, at the wash place uh, or as I say emptying the pails. Uh, they were presumably uh, kept an eye to make sure that they uh, were in the right place in the in the queue when it emerged, but uh, those sort of th details uh, are, are fairly unimportant. The uh, selection of the non-professionals to uh, to fill in the background seems to have been done with care, but without uh, uh, any great uh, attempt to give them parts over and above their uh, relatively small place in the script.